Hello to the yubtubs and things. Did I cut the brownies? No, I'm sorry, love. I forgot to cut the brownies. You're welcome to if you want. I know you don't like doing it, but... I know. I'm sorry. I should have cut them. What is this? Programmer interviews? History of Intellivision? What? It's kind of neat, I guess. Is, like, all this stuff interactable? No. Interesting. Okay. So, I'm assuming that's how we actually play. You only know how to cut them in nine? Well, just... What? If you do four, you just do three cuts one way, right? And then you turn it 90 degrees, and then you do four cuts again, and that'll cut it into 16. I'm guessing this just lets us music. Oh no, it's all the options. Okay. Customize music options? What? Shuffle short. What is this even playing right now? I'm kind of sad that it changed that song. I was, <laughs> I was getting into it, man. That's all the higher goes. What is this? <laughs> the fuck? Okay, there's some uh, interesting music we can say. That's fine. Let's leave that music turned up, man. I want to. <laughs> this is a soundtrack that I need to hear right here. Uh, the unreleased games? Okay. I wonder how you unlock the stuff. Maybe just playing like the other stuff? Like if we. Production notes. This 1979 demo cartridge was used in stores to extol the features of a television. Ah, oh, that kind of demo cartridge. Okay. Play. <laughs> Start is pause. That's all we need to know. I mean, with the demo cartridge, maybe it just, you know, is a like a playback. Not necessarily a video, but... The video game system that transforms your television set into a family entertainment center. Damn. Got sports, action, gaming, strategy, learning fun with more to come. The master component and separate cartridge bring you. Later, you can add the keyboard component and expand your system into a powerful home computer. Let's go, dude. Now, actually, like, it's pretty cool how you used to be able to do that with consoles. Like, the PS1 had a, like, computer thing. Uh, the PS2 had a computer thing. PS3 had a computer thing. There was some productivity software on the NES. Not a ton, but there was a little bit of it. Like, it's pretty cool how they used to do shit like that. Optijag, what's up, my guy? Hello? Hello? So this must be football? I honestly can't tell if it's, like, American football or <laughs> if that's, like, you know... Uh, European football? Hypnotic Lights. Production notes. Never an official project. Hypnotic Lights was more of a favor programmer Steve and Ronnie did for Intellivision Vice President Gabriel Baum. Gabriel asked Steve to develop a Rubik's Cube-like game incorporating an animation effect he liked. Steve put this together in his spare time. While playable, he considers it far from a finished game. Let's play it! Oh, God. One to nine, move cursor, zero, enter. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I mean, okay, it's an unreleased, quote unquote, unfinished game, so can't get like too mad at him or at the game itself. Okay. Uh, sure. Wait, how do we. Okay, that's how we move stuff. Huh. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did it blow up? What was that? Is there no way to stop it? It looks like the only way to stop it is to move on to another line. Do we need to make, like, a square? I don't know what the goal here is. Oh, that's right. You can move things sideways, too, of course. Man, I wish you could, like, stop us. Oh, you press X to stop one. Okay. So then... Okay. And then... Oh, God. 
Yeah, so we're trying to like line up groups of at least four to blow them up. I see. Interesting. Not really. I mean, <laughs> and now I can't. Oh, it's the second player's turn now. Yeah, okay. It's not a complete game. We're gonna. <laughs> I was more or less just curious, like, how you unlock these other things. That's what I was trying to figure out. Not exactly hydrating, but, you know, it's a drink. Okay. Maybe I actually get into the real game. Space. Astro Mash, Space Armada, Space Battle, Space Hawk, Space Spartans. Oh, we have goals and a game with over 20,000 points. Radical gameplay modes. Normal. Downside up. Grid shock? Ping pong? Wait, what? What the fuck is ping pong? Play. Fire, auto fire, hyperspace. Auto fire off. So X is fire, triangles hyperspace. I presume that's all we'll really need to know. Oh, oh God, this is this is terrible. Oh no, I do not like. Oh God, <laughs> this is so bad. Who let me turn on hyper? The fucking not hyperspace ping pong mode. Why is this even a thing? I. Oh no. This is so bad. Who thought this was a good idea, man? Who was making their collection of, of old game? Okay, no, we need to stop that. Go back. Uh, I am ass. Nate, what's up, my guy? Hello, hello? Ass. That is us. There we go. Continue. My highest score, what was it? 195? Reverse, normal, downside up. What is grid shock, though? I'm very curious what grid shock is. Rue, hello! You have terrible news. Well, that's not good. You're not supposed to do that. Oh! Okay, but it's the same game over and over again. That's not bad. You can just kind of focus on one, because it's literally like the same screen just duplicated a bunch of times. That's not too bad. It's not a cold, it's COVID. That sucks, dude. I'm sure you'll be fine. You're vaccinated and everything, right? Obviously, you don't have to answer that, but like, yeah. I don't know. Hopefully, like, even before I got vaccinated, it wasn't that bad for me personally. So hopefully for yourself and for your Nana, especially, you know, hopefully uh, it goes the same way with it being pretty pretty gentle um by the way for anybody who's just seeing the game is not fucking up this is a quote-unquote radical mode of the game uh <laughs> so that's that's why there's like a million copies some of which are upside down it's it's interesting to say the least i don't understand why it's a thing i really appreciate that they added auto fire as an option though that's that's huge. That makes everything much easier. I don't have to like hurt my finger trying to mash. She is too obvi. Very good. Very good. Yeah, hopefully it's nothing more than than a bad cold for you guys, which is more or less what it was for me the three times that I've had COVID, so Looks like a great game to play on acid. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure they were on acid when they made it. Like, pretty much any old game though, you know? In television, Atari, whatever. I'm fairly certain when they made the games, they were all just high on acid. Probably weed. And most definitely alcohol. Like, all of it. All mixed together, man. In one big conglomeration of death <laughs> it's amazing anything got created at all honestly oh god the colors though this purple is like hurting my face actually feels less like a cold you had last year believe it or not so i'm living <laughs> oh god oh <laughs> yeah knock on wood knock on wood for sure and coke it was very popular i don't know with how shit developers were paid back in the day i'd be surprised if they could afford coke I mean, maybe Coke has gotten a lot more expensive. Maybe it used to be cheap. I don't know. But these days, man, like, damn, a bottle of Coke is what, like, 250? God damn. 
fucking stupid. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this, this is so... I guess and this is the whole point of the game, right? We're just trying to blow up the shit. I don't think there's any real strategy to it other than don't die. I can't tell if the game gets harder the longer you survive or if the game gets harder the more stuff you kill. But I can kind of see in all of the messier that there is like a little number at the top of the screen that is counting up every so often and every time it counts off it, it counts up everything starts to move faster the game gave us a goal of getting 20,000 on it here so that's like my personal goal but I I don't know man this is basically my first time ever playing it I don't know what those are those kill us if they fall okay good to know oh we have multiple lives nice Okay, well, as long as the game doesn't get, like, too much worse, then we might be okay. Oh, God. Maybe. <laughs> this shit is starting to move quick, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, there's so many bombs! Nice joke. Well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you like my stupid <laughs> nonsense. Like Noodle would have a seizure seeing this. It's so weird. I don't know why this is a thing, man. Like, I don't know if you saw the ping pong mode, if anybody saw the ping pong mode that, that I was trying before this. That was bad. Like, this is playable. It's just kind of like, why, you know? Seems completely unnecessary. But the ping pong mode, is that, I don't even know if it's possible to play the game. I mean, I guess it is. I'm sure somebody's done it at some point maybe or maybe i'm the only person to ever buy this game fuck okay, yeah it seems like every time we die we just go down a difficulty and then presumably but like no that wouldn't make sense there's got to be some sort of life system or something because otherwise if you fuck if you only like lose the game when you get to or die on zero then like would you ever die Unless you just happen to, like, to get lives at the same rate that the game gets harder. Maybe that's the case? If that's the case, we have 16 lives, man. We're, we're pretty set. I do see it says 3x up in the corner. Also have no idea what the hell that means. Also, don't tell Noodle, but I may or may not have bought more games today. So just waiting for them to come in now. <laughs> I can't remember what they were, <laughs> but... Yeah... Huh? Hi, Noodle. Where'd you come from? I feel like this would also be a lot easier if I had a bigger screen to look at. Oh, no! Got me, boys. We're so close to 20,000. I just want to hit the 20,000. Because that's what the game told me I need to hit. Oh god, that was coming for us, dude. I don't know if you could see it in this mess of a game, but... Oh, I fully knew she would come in at that point, man. Once she heard her name and, like, don't tell. Yeah, she's too nosy to not notice. We're so close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me over there. I can't get over there. Uh, okay, we also lose points. I would have been so mad if that was, like, if we lost the game at that point. You know, when we were only, like, 100 points from... Oh, fuck. Oh, every time something hits the ground, we lose points. Oh. That's how that works. Damn, we were at 20,000. I should have just quit the game as soon as we hit 20,000. I don't know if there's a way to actually just, like, quit, though. Without just, like... What? What did that... That was, like, teleporting us. Bro, I don't... I, I got 20,000 points, but... A couple of times... 
But I don't know how to keep it. Reading your phone is right next to your ear. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're not nosy? Okay, whatever you say, love. You're right, I'm sorry. Totally not nosy. Not even a little bit. Oh my god, dude, this is freaking ridiculous. How do I quit the game and like keep my points? Oh god, what are you? Okay, we lived. Fuck, I just wanna, I just wanna end it. What is that? <laughs> Why did that pop up? I mean, I hit select. I guess that's why it popped up, but what the hell was it? Auto fire, single shot? See, like that actually quits the game. Or no, okay, well, it like, goes to the pause menu. So is that just like a teleport button? Still got the square eyes? I'm sorry, love. I guess it is. Does it cost us points or anything? It doesn't seem like it. So how do you how do you game over? I guess it is live ba life base. That thing at the top must just be our lives. So really, what I need to do is just lose a bunch of lives, and then get back over twenty thousand and lose the last life. Yeah, that's that's honestly what we need to do. Just so we can beat the 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 goal. They give you a shit ton of lives in this game though, don't they? Cause every everything that hits the ground we lose points on, so Yeah, just kill me, game. Thank you. This is actually what I want. I want to die, game. Let me die. It just hit me. What? <laughs> How did you not hit me, dude? I was... Whatever. But we're down to two. Okay, one. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Is that it? Is that GG? Oh, no. One more life. No. No, no, no. Okay. Something, something hit me. Game over. Peak score, 23,575. Okay, so can we, like, save that score or something? Can we do anything? Auto fire plus, hyperspace. Well, none of the buttons seem to do anything. Oh. Why'd it do that? So if I just quit the game, does it fix it now? Yeah, I guess maybe you just have to like restart the game whenever you, whatever. Beat the machine's goals and view, oh, that's it? You just get a commercial? The exciting new in television space game Star Strike with one of the most popular Atari games, Asteroid. Star Strike has moving images that make the game appear three dimensional. Asteroid doesn't. And Star Strike features our most exciting visual effect, total destruction of Thank you, planet. Nate. Thank you. I just saw the message. Which is why, after Star Strike, Asteroids left me rather flat. Star Strike, new, for in television from Oof. Electron. That's sass. You guys probably can't hear shit. The game's kind of quiet. I need to... Hold on, let's go back. How do we... Where were options? The, yeah, the jukebox. Jukebox are options. Turn, uh, not the sound effects. Turn up the volume, though. Okay, so that's unreleased. These are the space games. What other kind of space games are there? Space Hawk? Space Hawk? Oh, god damn it. I didn't realize I was still on this mode. No, hold on. Uh, quick game. I want to turn off the fucking <laughs> radical mode, dude. First, no, just normal. Play. Now, how is this going to be? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, we're in, 
we're in space, can we move? We cannot move. Holy shit, yeah, those eyes. You're not kidding. Oh shit, okay, L1. We have like a jetpack. Kind of like asteroids, yeah. It seems like a little more involved than asteroids though. Cause like you can actually explore and stuff. You couldn't do that in asteroids, right? Oh, is that pause? Oh cool, I had pause. Do I die if I run into things? No, okay. Or at least these things. These must just be like stars or maybe planets in the background or something. I kind of like the physics though, like of the space movement here. I kind of suck at it, but I wonder, like, if there's a limit. How fast can we go? I want to fucking travel warp speed with my jetpack. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, hold on. we got this. You just not run into people. Oh god, dude. I think <laughs> I think we're more or less at the limit. Where where is everybody? Hello? <laughs> if the goal was just survive, dude, I think we unlocked the secret. Looks almost like he's farting his way through space. <laughs> A little bit, dude. Hell yeah. Look, they were very limited, okay? This character's what? Four, five, six, seven. I don't know, like 15 pixels? Um. We're gonna get you. Hold on, it takes me a moment to slow down here. Holy shit, it really does, dude. I'm like holding the accelerator. Alright, there we go. There it is. I think they just like couldn't even keep up with us because we were moving so quick before. Oh shit, I think we won. Or maybe we just got like an extra life or something. We're dead. Oh no, we're still here. Okay. Uh, now we're dead. Oh god. Yeah, I'm done with this one. <laughs> quick game. We're gonna try one more from from here. Star Strike. Oh, it's this one, the one that the commercial was for. So wait, are we shooting forward or... Oh, okay, square shoots forward. Circle drops bombs on the ground. Are they shooting at me too? I mean, presumably they are, right? Which triangle do nothing. L1... Or R1 nothing. I can't tell if we're taking hits or not. Honestly, I just can't tell what's going on. I like that there's, like, the shadows underneath us. To make it a little bit easier to tell, like, where we are on the screen. Oh, shit, we can run into the ground. Hey, there's the earth back there, though. I think we're dead already. Okay, quick game. What else do we have? Words. Fact or fun? Frog bog? Math master! Let's go, dude! H requires two controllers? That's dumb. All them word rockets. Pick and launch. Move wagon. Okay. I E E O? Wait, what are we doing? Uh, oh, are we trying to make words? Okay. What? That was a word. Did we get longer words? Uh, maybe we can't, like... Maybe we gotta actually get it, like, in between the characters, too. Pud. Pud. 
Men. M. Let's go. Yeah, no, I think it just has to be a word that they like have programmed in. I wonder, is it all three letter words? Does bod work? No. Bed probably would, but. Uh, cow. I know three letter words. Uh, b b b bum. Mo, now, go, no! Shit, dude, that one's moving quick. Recognize Tor. Tor. I don't have an A. Is it possible to, like, change the characters? Ben is ordered. What? What? Bro, we got all eyes. Wig. This is a game. Nip. Fran? What? Okay, what? We know our fucking words. Who? I think they're looking for wit. Oh, too late, it's gone. Cup! Hug. Bow. Cow. Tib. <laughs> Cow. Uh, hot. Speaking of hot, guys, I made dinner tonight. Does anybody want to guess what I had for dinner? It included fire. <laughs> It wasn't meant to include fire, but it included fire. No, <laughs> it wasn't spicy food. It was, uh, it was burgers. We had burgers, potatoes, and vegetables, like roasted potatoes and vegetables. Uh, but I was cooking the burgers in the oven and, uh, because they're, they're like frozen burgers. They're not the pre-cooked kind, but... They're frozen in like pre shape. And uh, you just put them in the oven to cook them. I do them all the time. Well, like once a month, roughly. And usually don't have any problems. But for some reason, this time, man, like I opened the oven a little bit so that the boiler could turn back on to get a nice char on it. And it just catches on fire, dude. <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh, okay. So I just close the oven, turn it off, open it a couple minutes later, you know, to let it settle down a little bit. And, uh, it wasn't on fire anymore, but it was smoking like a motherfucker. It's like 30 degrees outside. We had to open up a shit ton of windows. It was not a good time, but the food was good. The burgers and potatoes and that whatnot ended up tasting good, though, so no complaints there. It was just like, yeah, damn, dude. Wait, what am I doing? Oh. We, we literally just are a frog? Can we catch more than one bug per jump? It's weird. It's like we can only put out our tongue whenever we're near. I thought it was two players too, but no, it's just, uh, that's a CPU. Honestly, though, it seems like the right move is just to jump constantly and just keep sticking out your freaking tongue, dude. Give me that mosquito, bitch. What are you doing? That's, that's mine! I want the bug. Ooh, is that like a dragonfly? Are dragonflies worth more points? Damn it. Why are you... Why won't you go in my mouth? Ha ha! Mine. I understand, like, games were more limited back then, but, like... Who makes a game of you just being a frog hopping between two leaves? Don't get me wrong, man. I could do like a like a cozy game like Stardew Valley, but where you're just a frog. Just chilling on his little leaf. Maybe with a pipe. Sitting under some mushrooms. Wearing some cottagey clothes. Like, I'm all for that. But this is not what I envision here. With the fucking... Just hopping between... <laughs> 
two lily pads. Ah, oh, sucks to be you, green frog. But you wish you were a purple frog now, huh? It's weird, like you, it, the game only lets you stick out your tongue when the game wants to let you stick out your tongue. It's like I'm mashing X every time I jump and it just kind of randomly decides, yeah, now, now is a good time for tongue. <laughs> CPU sucks though, huh? One third my score? Like, dude, get good. You even trying, bro? If I just hold right, will it just constantly jump? No. Damn, he's catching up. <laughs> That's what I get for talking shit. this game have an ending? Can we just do this forever? Are we just cursed to be a frog? Eating an endless number of bugs now? Oh, okay, hold on, it's making noise. Is that GG? I can't hop. Is that a, is it a bomb? Are we, are we about to get blown up? Is the game, is it supposed to be doing something? This is why I don't really play, like, right? <laughs> That's why I don't really play, like, Atari, like, old, old games, you know? I love the Nintendo and the Genesis and shit like that, but, like, anything older than that, the games were just a little bit too basic, man. Like, I have no idea what this is. I don't even know what it's doing right now. It's just making a noise over and over again. We're gonna quit the game. Apparently, I got a high score, though. We are bab. You know what we need to do? We need to play this game in ping pong mode. There we go. This is truly how it was meant to be played. This is so bad. If it didn't like ping pong around so quickly, maybe. Oh my God, this is legitimately like hurting my face. This is bad. Good thing all you have to do is just hop, mash X in, in any directional button, honestly. That's that's all you gotta do. All the directional buttons make you jump. And X just sticks out your tongue randomly. Are I can't even tell, are we winning? Are we losing? I might get sick if I keep doing that. We're just gonna, yep. It's enough of ping pong mode. Get that back on normal before I forget. All right, we like, oh, uh, crosswords requires two controllers too? But why does it show like one? Man, like all of these ones require two controllers. Let's try sharp shot then. Oh. Wait, how do I shoot the other? Can I shoot the other one? Oh, but we can like... I see. Interesting. I like the, the way it like bounces around and stuff though. That's kind of cool. Oh, and then like... That's cool, dude. Yeah, I actually kind of like this. I'm not gonna lie. Because if we shoot it here, then it just goes to the left. If we shoot it here, it goes up the middle. If we shoot it there, it goes up the middle. So there's no way to go like up that left path unless we hit it there and then it bounces around. That's so cool. I think this is meant to play with two players though. Yeah, because it's like me versus them or whatever. Okay. So these games in general are just kind of like a no-go for us. Let's try sports. Baseball, basketball, bowling, boxing, football, golf, hockey, racing, skiing, track and field, volleyball, wrestling, tennis. Let's try skiing, man. Mountain Madness Super Pro. 
jump and power turn. Power turn and jump. Okay. Oh, excuse me while I try not to fall asleep. Select the number of skiers. Uh, then press start. Okay. Uh, one. Enter. And, uh, one. Enter. One. <laughs> Enter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One. Enter. Hit pad to exit. Oh, it's like one of those ones. Okay. Oh shit, we're not allowed to go backwards. Okay. I've seen like flash games or something like this before. The sound effect is a bit much. How do we like gain speed? Is that like a trick? I guess those are tricks. Yeah, right? Like not flash, but I've I've definitely seen games like this before. And played games like this before. Super simple, like, downhill ski games. I don't remember them being quite this slow, but we're slowly picking up speed. Oh, God, we're going to miss that. Oh, we'll just die. Damn, dude. They even, like, touched the pixel on that. <laughs> we got to go down a little bit. Come on. There we go. I wonder if you're timed. If you're timed, you'd be screwed. Can you make it? Do you, do you die if you hit the thing? No. Okay. You can hit the flags. That's good. I don't like the static sound effect for us going down the slope, so that's a little bit much. Oh, fuck. Wish you didn't slow down so much when you're on Uh, hold on. What was jump X? Let's go. I don't think I can jump over trees. Oh, wait. wait did we just go behind the trees? I thought, like, if you touch any of the pixels of the trees, you would just block them. I'm not going to lie. What are these brown things on the side? Of oh, they're people, because we're at the end. Okay. So you get a penalty for missing the gates, and you are timed. I wonder if that counts. We'll have to see what our penalty is at the, uh, at the end. To be honest, when I was saying earlier, I was super excited to play a PS2 game today. This is not what I expected. But honestly, I'm kind of having fun with it, as dumb as it is. I don't think it's a game that I'm going to be playing like much more of, you know, after the stream, but... Come on. No, go! Come on, dude. Let's go. Well, regardless, our time should be better than the first time. Got it. We're definitely a, a lot faster now. I don't know if it's the same course, though. Might technically be different. I did not think we made that. I thought we were going too slow. Oh, dude. Give me them tricks. 96 seconds. Killed it. This gate's a 121 point country. Okay, yeah, so hitting gates is fine. I think we're done with it, but I want to try the other one. 
What's just regular skiing? How's it different? This looks the same. Uh, one. Ski. Enter. Slope? Nine. Enter. Course? Five. Enter. Oh god, it's much faster. But yeah, it looks the fucking same though, dude. Oh god. I didn't see, is there a way to super turn in this one like there was in the other one? I wasn't paying any attention on the, the direction screen. It may not be a time penalty, but there is like a little bit of a slowdown penalty from hitting the flag. Honestly, in this mode, might just be a blessing. Yeah, that's that's the same game. Let's be honest, man. Just maybe with different options. So th these aren't even games, I'm just realizing. These are all categories of games. How does bowling work like on the... Uh... Move down. Aim release loft. Move up. Okay. Select game. Bowling spares. Left hand, right hand. Uh, bowling. Enter. Bowlers. One. Enter. Slickness? I don't know. Middle of the road? Five. Ball weight? Give me a... Oh, shit. Okay. I was gonna say, give me like a 10-pound ball. Yeah, give me like a 10-pound ball. Older hand? Right hand? How do we move, like, our character? Be blue. Oh, with the... Is that with the arrows? It's with, like, circle and square. Hello, Commander. Computer reporting. Hello, Commander. Computer reporting. Hello, Commander. Computer Obviously, I don't think I did that right. There was something about using the left stick. Hello, Commander. Are you sure? Hello, we have some way of like adjusting? Hello, Commander. Oh, Hello, maybe you have to hold X. No, oh, spin to the right, dude. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not playing this. Fuck that game. How does golf work? I like golf. Chip shot super pro, just regular golf. So we have short, medium, long. Hello, Commander. Then aim and swing. <gasps> May players just one, please? I like the little uh graphics that you could put over the controller to show like the different buttons. Uh this side, I guess. Oh, do we need to pick our okay, our driver? I have no idea if that was good or bad. How do we so always shoot towards the hole? Oh, it doesn't give us like a suggestion. Give me the uh, the three wood, please. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Okay, that hardly moved. Wait, how do we like... What? 
Why are we hitting it the wrong direction? Forces us to use the putter here. I legitimately don't understand how this mode works or this part works. Like the ball's hardly moving, man. Do I need a hold X? Oh wait, that's right. X, square, and circle do different things. So X is like short or whatever. So square would be medium. But how do we aim it towards the hole? Do I need to just get on the other side of it here? No, that sent it down. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, yeah, like that. And then I guess I want to be on this side of it, right? And then same thing again. They should have put like an extra, oh fuck. Like an extra pixel on it to know which direction you're putting or just hitting the ball in general. 19 strokes later. I feel like I had 19 strokes trying to figure that out. Uh, driver, and we want to be just here on the top, right? It's going to go in the water, ain't it? Nope, but it's in the rough. Uh, way hits up. I think it's this side. Damn it, the tree, though. Is it possible to hit at like an angle? Ah, oh, it is. Five iron, I don't know. I'm not a golfer, I don't know what any of this means. Wait, did it bounce like off? Can we change back to our iron? No, to our driver, I mean. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's not too bad. We probably don't want the putter. Um, maybe the five with a short one shot. That went much far. Wow, <laughs> bruh. We fucking bounced it off that tree. Let's go. I'm done with golf, so that, that was pretty sick, though. I'm assuming this is going to be basically the same. Okay, now it's a little different. Celebrity Pro Amateur, Trail of Tears, Play Same Course, Design Your Own, Driving Range. Wait, Pro Shop? How do we make a selection? Enter. I don't know, whatever. Classic course. Play 19. Fuck, dude. Sorry, I'm very tired. I almost fell asleep on my lunch break today. Surprisingly, I didn't, but... Oh, okay. So this time, yeah, it's like hold. Is it like hold XX? Uh, Y? Sure. See, I think it's like, oh, we can actually aim where we want the ball to go this time. That's nice. Sure, sure. Let go and then hit. Okay. I'm starting to understand it a little bit, but no, I'm good. Let's see what else there is. Arcade games. Anything decent in the arcade. Buzz Bomber, Snafu, Thin Ice. Thin Ice sounds cool. Hydrate. I might fall asleep. Just what might happen. I like penguins. Penguins might be my favorite animal. Good 
did we win? I think we won. I literally didn't do anything, though. I was just... Are we trying to, like, collect the stuff before it catches up with me, or... Do we want it to catch up with me? It said something about, like, being able to fruit things. understand what we're doing. I'm guessing collect the things and then get caught? What does the fucking freeze button do, though? Oh, wait, like, this time there is nothing. Can we just lead ourselves out of the level? No, Duncan is on the loose. Duncan is a penguin who loves to skate on thin ice, much to the dismay of the other penguins. As Duncan skates, he weakens the ice. If he skates completely around another penguin, kerplash, the ice collapses and the penguin falls into the pond. Oh. So that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, go ahead, love. I guess just the regular branch. I forgot to make some. Why does this give you Barbie rescue pet vibes? Gross. <laughs> never played it. It could be a good game. But I just assume any Barbie game is not going to be a good game. Wait, so, okay, so we're trying to skate completely around you? Get fucked? Wait, is he cleaning up the... Aha! <laughs> Touches that. Oh god. If the penguin touches the line. Yeah, now, like, how do we lose him, though? Damn. Oh fuck. Get close. It's an old plug and play. favorite games on it. Bosconian, I think it's called? Discovered it through that plug and play. It's a lot of fun, honestly. Oh, we remaking the ice? That's cute. how big we can make the ice chunks? No. It doesn't seem to be. Can we skate over it? Oh no, but we can swim over it. That's cool. Okay. So in theory, we could like trap the seal. Can the seal go through the missing ice chunks? He can. Damn, dude. I was hoping we could like trap him off to the side. I still don't understand what the, like, goblet things are that look like they're on fire. Are those treats? Like, penguin treats? We get points for collecting them, that's all I know. And what's the Yeti for? Get away from my penguin! Oh fuck, okay. Well, whatever the Yeti is, it doesn't like us either. That, that might be my favorite game so far. I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but... Freestyle? Move left, move right, fire. Why is fire on the left? Enter number of players, just one? Uh, again, one? One, yeah. 
guess. Wait, do we just have to wait for it? Is this like, instead of an enter button, you just have to get the selection in before this does whatever the fuck this is? Wait, who am I? I'm like the, the all-seeing eye up there. Am I trying to destroy that? What were the other buttons that... They don't seem to be doing anything. We could read the manual, or we could just quit. I think we're just gonna quit. What is Night Stalker? I did not look to see how to play. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is interesting. So I'm assuming we want the gun. And then our bats bad? Bats are bad. They kill us. shoot to the right? No, it's whichever face button you hit. That's the direction you move. Or not that you move, but that you shoot. Okay. Oh, no. Is our goal to get to the cobwebs up in the corner there? What's our goal here? Maybe to kill this dude? God. Bro, wait, there's gotta be more, like, there's gotta be another point to the game than just this, right? Oh, wait, I'm out of gun. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Is it just taking me forever to reload? Oh, now I'm out of gun. Okay, it's fine. We know what to do. I need to come down here. And just camp his ass. Or... It's gonna come down now. Okay. It's gonna come back over here eventually, right? Oh shit, I can't outrun the bullet! <laughs> I should have went up. Where am I? Oh, I'm in jail. Yeah, this doesn't really seem fair. There's I wonder hold on one sec, pause. Instructions. Your man is trapped in the maze. Robots relentlessly track him down. Keep him away from spiders and bats. Watch out for robot fire. React quickly. The key to survival is to destroy them before they get the man. Rack up as many points as you can. It's you against them to the end. Okay. The bunker. You can choose your speed. Yeah, so it's literally just... We could just cheat at that game, basically. Not cheat, but, you know. Like... Could cheese the fuck out of it though. <laughs> I mean, at some point, I'm sure the level changes. So, like, maybe he'll spawn in a different spot or something. And then, of course, the fact that there's ammo that helps so you can't just spawn camp him forever. But since he always spawns in that same area, you can you can really cheese it up, bro. Why didn't I shoot? That was dumb. I pressed triangle. That's annoying. Right, I shoot. Okay, I think I have one shot left. Maybe one more, but there's no gun available at the moment, so I might as well just 
Just keep it up. Okay, yeah, no. We're out of we're out of gun. I wonder if the gun like always respawns as soon as the new gun come. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get him. Oh god, okay. And shoot. Oh, it's a new robot. Too bad you spawn in the same damn place again. Okay, so we're out of ammo. Oh, there's two of them now. Does that mean we get double points if we, like, spawn camp them again? <laughs> they really shouldn't spawn in, like, the same area. Oh, there's three of them now. I feel like if you did it right, they would all respawn at the same time, and I wonder then if one bullet would kill them all at the same time. I don't know, but I'm done with that game either way. Let's try Bomb Squad, why not? Work tool, circuit speed drop. Work tool, circuit speed drop. Bomb Squad. Digits 1 to 3. 1. Two, three. One. Enter. There we go. Level. One. Uh. What? Uh. What? We can, we can spray it. No, I don't think so. Spraying it's gonna help anything, right? We need to cut these. I'm assuming like different pieces need handled in different ways. Can we drill it? No. We take it. No. Wait, do we, like, take these things up here? No. Do we blow it up? I don't know. I don't care that much. Goodbye. What is snappy? Enter, select. That's it. X is enter, R1 is select. Their button option for this stuff is kind of weird. How many rounds? Two. Wait, am I? Oh, okay, I'm red. Are we just trying to, like... Okay, well, we can't run into the walls. Okay, so it's one of these things. You're just trying to cover as much area as possible without dying. Now does... Okay, yeah, and their color disappears. Wait, you can go over your own color? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, quit. Restart. Can't seem to change the speed. Holy shit, this is this is different. Oh, this is like Tron mode. We're trying to kill him, right? Wait, did that not kill him? I kind of swore he hit our tail. Are we not trying to? Why does he have more points than me? Are we trying to bounce? As much as possible? Well, somehow I got a point. I'll just, I'll just bounce with him here, dude. I don't...
I don't understand. Like, not even a little bit. I'm guessing I'm gonna get a point on this bounce. No? Wait, what? I got a point and then, like, instantly lost it. Oh, is it the tail? Are we trying to hit the tail? I have 10, he has 13. Fuck. It seems like every time I hit my own tail, I lose points, though. Damn it. Come back here. I hit my own tail a lot. Why's he gotta be faster than me? I'm trying to like... Okay, there we go. I'm trying to go like on the same path as him, but... It's surprisingly hard. And now I'm on the same path as him, but I wanna like... Fuck! Fuck, <laughs> dude. I don't get what the hell's going on here at all. I'll be honest with you. Honestly, it's kind of watered down at this point. I need some, like, Coke or something in it, because too much water in it. Not enough drink. Ah. Ah. Okay, yeah, no, I think we're done with that game. That's, uh... That's something. Next. Oh, can we play darts? I want to play darts, man. Horse racing? Oh, God. Wait, did that say give a handy? Hold on. What did that say? Win a hand in a game versus two versus computer. Okay. My bad. Las Vegas roulette? Why does it require two controllers? Like, why do you need two controllers to play fucking roulette? Maybe... Because of the number of options? Like, does it actually? Oh, it won't let me start it, so I guess so. Let's play checkers. Hopefully we can play checkers against the AI. Uh, computer starts. High or low skill? Low. Uh, you versus opponent. Does this say low skill? I think this says low skill. Select man to move. Okay. Uh, this one. To here. Yeah. How do I confirm? Okay, well that seemed to work. Select man to move. What? No, I don't... I'm not asking for a hint game. I'm, I'm wanting to grab this piece. X doesn't do it. R1? No. R2? L1. L2. How do I... Square? What is this fucking song in the background, by the way, dude? Is it forcing me to fucking... It is. Why the fuck did you make me do that? I don't want to do that game. We had no shit I lost a piece because you just made me move a piece I didn't want to. That was dumb as hell. My mother sold mine in the garage sale. Again, it won't let me move a fucking piece. Hold on. Hold on. Instructions. New tricks to the old game. Beat a friend or take the candy computer in the time-honored contest of strategy, patience, and skill. Sweep the board of your opponent's men by jumping them or trap them so that your opponent is unable to make a move. Game start. Checkers are called single men. Single men may move diagonally on the black squares in a forward direction only. When a single man reaches the opposite, he gets crowned. 
Uh, King may move either forward or backward. You versus opponent. You versus computer. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Imagine the D-pad divided into four quarters. Press quarter that corresponds to the direction you want to move. What? <laughs> I don't get that one, man. It just wasn't working. But that was Royal Dealer. Crazy Eights, Rummy. Oh, okay. Just card games. Yeah, no. I don't know how to play any of those anyways, to be honest with you. And that's it. That's that's everything the game has to offer. What is up with the... Where's the unreleased stuff here? I still find it weird that, like... Some of these are locked. I'm assuming we probably have to hit goals in other games to, to unlock it, but... <clears throat> What are we trying to do here? Oh. I think we fell to our death. Yeah. Hard Hat was intended to be one of the three games on the party line cartridge, along with Blowout and Space Cadet. The game was designed for play by teams during timed rounds. However, unlike the Space Cadet and Blowout prototypes, the timer was not implemented in the Hard Hat prototype. Object of the game, collect points by picking up panes and moving them into your building. The points do not show up until the workman climbs to the roof and jumps up, hitting the scoreboard. Knocking panes off the building subtracts points. Oh. Interesting. Place your workman on the floor where the center moving scaffold is paused. Run to the scaffold and your workman will jump from the building to the scaffold. Time it right and you can also jump from a higher floor to the scaffold. Pick up a pane of glass and move it into place. Complete your building before your opponent does. If your opponent is getting ahead of you, do not fret. Run over to his building and knock off panes. Okay. So... Oh, the panes are on the scaffolding? Can we jump from any floor? How do we pick up a pane? Oh, there we go. Is it okay to go from like one floor? No, don't put him in his! Son of a bitch. We died. Well, this is definitely meant to be a two player game, so I don't think it's really gonna matter, but like. Could we screw ourselves? Because I'm assuming we can only climb on exposed pipe, right? So, like, if I put a pipe there. No, we can still climb, okay. Is there a way to, like, switch sides with the pin? Why didn't we jump? <laughs> Bruh, half my workers are gonna die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's one of the, the collections of, uh, of games. Like, collections of classic games. Why does it keep trying to, like... Sometimes it just takes the pains over to the opponent's side, which I don't understand. Well, that was weird. I mean, it is an unreleased game, to be fair. Also, it's weird that, like, the jukebox from the, from the main thing doesn't fucking stop whenever you're playing a game. I guess it really mimics that, hey, you're in an arcade sort of feel, you know? But, like, it's just weird. I do like that, though. That the score doesn't update until you come up here and hit that. That's kind of neat, man. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. So what happens when we run out of pain? How do you knock them off your opponent's side? It says you can, but... It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. Oh damn you! It's 
not exactly the best collection of games ever. I guess if you're really into, like, Intellivision games, then, you know. But, as I was saying earlier, Atari and Intellivision are just a little bit too basic for me, personally. I'm gonna head to bed, guys. The more, s the more I sleep, the faster I'm hoping I get over there. Blah. I can't fucking use words, but yes, no, sleep, get some rest, and I hope you feel better soon, my guy. And I think we're done with that game. <laughs> what else is there? Have fun? Yeah, something along those lines. That's for sure. Okay, Magic Carousel was garbage from what I remember. What was Hypnotic Lights? Did we try? Right? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I can turn the music back down. I had it turned up earlier, but I didn't realize that the music was going to overlap when I did that. The music in this game is something, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm, I think it'll be okay. Wait, what is this? Combat and sorcery? Hold up. I didn't see that one before. Uh, no, the Intellivision volume can be turned up. The music volume. I want to get that turned down. I don't know what song it was. Some of these songs are... A th are crazy. Like, my Intellivision, I think, is probably one of them. Compare this remix? I don't know. One of them is just, like, a dude singing about his Intellivision and his mom, like, selling it and shit. It's wild. Yeah, no, we didn't try this one. Tower of Doom? That sounds cool. I like this, though. Like, that, how it has fun facts about the development of the game and stuff like that. That's pretty sick. If I was into the Intellivision, you know, I'd be really happy about that. Drop item, use item, equip, hold. Okay. Drop item, use item, whatever the other one was. Uh, whoa. Six levels deep. How do I get back to six levels? There we go. Novice. <laughs> Maybe it is, man. <laughs> uh, I've certainly never heard this one. <laughs> Welcome to the Tower of Doom, level one. Wait, what? Hold on, how do we pick up item? Okay, this game actually looks like it could be something, but how do I pick this up? Uh, oh, could they have more one too? Yeah, exactly. Instructions. Monsters, magic, good, evil, strength, cunning, traps, mages. Explore the winding corridors of the tower. Collect precious treasures. Discover the secrets of magic artifacts. Counter the vilest creatures ever unleashed. Yeah, but how do you play? The tower. Same each time. Difficulty easiest. Color of items, same. Uh, colors of items, different? So this is like a roguelike in some way then, right? Yeah, because the mazes are different each time, on at least on the harder difficulties. Each level we descend introduces new monsters. Colors of items can change or be different or whatever. Now just how the fuck do you play it, though? You must locate the grail to succeed on the hardest difficulty. How fancy. You assume the character of the wife or the barbarian. The item color for these adventures will always be different. There's different types of characters you can use? What? There's a traitor? You can use a traitor? Overall, the warlord, strong and fully equipped, is the easiest character to begin with. The wife, weak and poor, is the hardest. The other characters have varying combinations. Use the mind to several sections. Uh, yeah. Upper left corner of the screen is the level map. Middle left of the screen are three rows of symbols. You can use the symbols in the top row to find out your status. Uh, bottoms, your hit points appears. Heal. Black background indicates move about the maze. Use the item in your hand. Press the use button. 
Okay, to pick up an item, walk over it. If your pack is full, you must drop an item first. To get an item from your pack, drop an item, open a door, go down a staircase, or check your status. You must get into your pack by pressing the equip button. Okay, hold on. So, if I wanted to, like, I have the power? Well, that's good. Oh! I have throwing axes now. Oh, God. Oh, ah, fuck! It's real time! Uh, I can't. I'm in the menu! How do I... How do I get out of here? Oh, God. Okay, that was scary. Okay, so now we picked it up. So, how do we equip it? Square? So, I'm guessing we can't use it right now because we're not in combat? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just explore. There's a door. Oh, no. Uh, get out of the menu. Can we... Can we loot the body? Do I need to drop something first? Okay, we have all kinds of items. I'm guessing we must be the warlord. Equip or hold. Use item, drop item. Equip, hold, use item, drop item. Okay. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to quit. Wait. Welcome to the tower again. So I'm assuming we must need like a key or something. Oh fuck, we have a key. Okay. Uh so hold use item. This is drop item. Oh, fuck. Uh, give me a weapon, please. Before we die. Okay, maybe... Go to the door. Huh? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm figuring it out. Slowly but surely. And it's just an empty fucking room. Nice. Oh shit, was that fire? That looks like fire. I hate the controls, but other than that, this is like an actual game, man. What weapon do we have right now? Do we have a short range weapon? Are you a bee? What's that thing? Yeah, we have... Or no, we have a, a spear. Like a throwing spear. Now, why does this door seem to have some sort of symbol on it? Does that mean it's trapped? Are we taking damage when we walk through that? It doesn't seem to be doing anything to us. Strength 12, stamina 12, diplomacy? Diplomacy? Life sports. Blah, 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 okay. So what does... Oh! I have the power, alright. Now what did that do? Stamina 12, Diplomacy 11, Life Force 194, Experience 40, Treasure 0. I was thinking maybe it would increase our strength or something because of, you know, because of what it says, but... What does that do? 40 curses? Wait, did we just get cursed? What did that do? It gave us a bunch of treasure. Yeah, I see that. The shield's at the bottom, but I don't know what the fuck that does. <laughs> Is that like actual shields for us, or? Who stopped the world? Oh, that's a potion of like time for you. That's pretty sick. Okay, it seems like we just pick stuff up by walking over it, assuming we have the space in our bag. Bruh, bruh, I'm pressing fucking left. It did not want to go left. What is that? Oh, fuck, I don't have a weapon equipped. Thank God for all of our life force. Like, we just got teleported. Fuck, do 
Do we have a way through that? What does... What are these? Life force maximum. Okay. So those are like food, I'm guessing, and a rogue? The controls are absolute ass, man. I mean, it's an old television game. I guess I can't be too mad with it. Wait, am I confused? No, I don't think I am. Those aren't like boots? Shit. Give me a weapon, please. Yeah, so am I, honestly. Why can't we use the boots? This is the, yeah, we've been in here before. There's nothing here. Is this another, oh wait, no, we haven't been here before. Yeah, that gives us confusion. Oh, okay. Oh, we can run away from encounters? Nice dungeon crawling surf up music. <laughs> I think that's coming from the jukebox, man. I think. It sucks that like, is there no way around that? So we found like every time oh, no, maybe we haven't gone this way yet. I don't remember. For fuck's sake, game, just let me through, please. Wait, no, because this teleported us, right? Yeah, that teleports us back to here. I wish the doors would stay open. What was down? Okay, this is new shit. I'm guessing there's no food mechanic. Strength 12, stamina 12, diplomacy, life force. Unless our life force is going down, but I'm assuming life force is something to do with health. No, oh, fuck the confusion thing again. Okay, confusion seems to be gone. Or not. Hello, Commander. Computer reporting. Hello, Commander. Is that the end of the level? I'm frozen. Computer reporting. Hello, Commander. Computer reporting. Yeah, no, I can't. Like, even my inventory is frozen. Hello, Commander. Can I get out of this? Yeah. Oh fuck, that's the end though. Use the fish. Life force maximum. I still want to see- okay, hold on. So our life force is currently... 249. Life force, I'm assuming, is just food. And then the thing in the bottom right, I'm assuming, is our health in some way. I don't have any... Items equipped. Senior instructor, novice, level strength, stamina, diplomacy, life force 240. Yeah. Life force 235. Yeah, okay. So that's food. So what is this room then? There seems to be nothing but dead ends. It's weird how we can just run away from enemies and, like, they don't fucking matter. Maybe the wand? Oh, that's not a wand. Hammer? He. Oh, did our health just, like, refill a bit? Yeah, like, I can't do anything in the menu here either. Whenever I'm in whatever this is. The menu doesn't even work. I guess I'll just keep trying to move up through it. Okay, yeah, we can get out of it. Or get through it. It's just annoying as hell. Uh, 
not key. Give me anything else. Okay, it's dead end. Should have known, honestly, based off the map. It's weird how like some of the enemies don't show up on the map. On the the just at all, honestly. Ooh, we got a ring? Is it a cursed object? Magic protects you. Nice. Oh, wait. Hold on. No. Okay. I was hoping maybe, like, the boots would do something since they seem to be equipable. Gotta be getting close to the end. Oh, those were the stairs. No? Oh, maybe not. They look like stairs. I thought we were on a new level, but according to the map, we're on the same damn level. Did this hurt us? Doesn't seem to. Ooh, more chicken. And more chicken. Wait, what? Bro, I feel like we're missing something here. That was everything, right? Oh, wait. Those are stairs. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that is how we get down. Level. Yeah, so this is just straight up a roguelike, man. Or just a rogue game, I guess. <laughs> like, it's, it's straight up just shitty rogue. This is a game I could actually play. I love how they did the different difficulties with having like the easiest difficulty, the dungeon always stays the same. And then the harder difficulties, things switch up more and whatnot. Rogue is, yeah, there's a new level. <laughs> it's rogue, roguelike, rogue is, and rogue lights. So I wonder, can we get info? I guess we would just have to, like, equip it, right? And then go here to see what our strength goes up to. So that's 13 with that. And then if we drop it, pick up this one and equip it. Now, oh, fuck. Strength. Oh, still 13. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. We should probably eat some food, though. Was this a teleport? I forget what this did. Yeah, that's a teleport. Okay, and that's the annoying-ass thing. Thankfully, we don't seem to have to step in it this time to get through. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. Oh. What the fuck is this? Is that a weapon? Uh, drop the axe. Or not equip it, drop it. The fuck? Was it a bong? <laughs> Did we just use a fucking bong? Was it, maybe it was a treasure. It was probably treasure. I don't, I have no idea. This reminds you of that Atari game you didn't understand and hated. That's fair. This seems... This is much more in-depth than... Uh... Oh, I can't remember the name of that game. I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember the name of it. Oh, those are the stairs. Let's go, dude. Hold on, potion. I have no idea what it does, but... Perception enhanced? Oh, we can see farther now. That's dope. Fuck it. Let's go down. It's a bad idea to go down too quickly, but we started in what I can only assume is fire. That's always nice. Wait, did that, did that give us less shields? Yeah, I'm 
Hold on. <laughs> I just don't know what the fire looking thing even does. Other than just be there. Shark shark. Shark shark. Is this a bow? Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. Run away? Yeah, it is a bow, but I can't seem to use it here. Weird. Maybe... Maybe there's some sort of puzzle element that you need the bow to, to do? No, not here, for fuck's sakes. The game really does just take you, like, wherever the hell it wants to sometimes, though. Adventure? Yeah. Adventure wasn't too bad. It's just very basic. It was just find the thing and run around. I've beaten it before, at least once, but... I think I beat it with you in the room, didn't I, Noodle? But I think it was like the easiest difficulty or whatever, though. Got stuck carrying a dead bird. Haven't we all? Wait, did that thing drop food? Okay, I'm going to drop the boots because I don't understand what the hell the boots do. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like these things are meant to be on the, the world map, but they're just not. Not the world map, but you know, like visible here. Oh, well, we got the boots back. Yeah, because it seems like if we walk over the same spot, we get attacked again. But for some reason, <gasps> we got cursed earlier. Maybe that's the curse that we can't see the enemies. Or like an effect of the curse or something. Not necessarily the curse itself. These rooms always seem to be empty. Oh shit, dead end. Okay, that fire definitely took away some of our shields. I wonder what happens when our life force drops to zero, our hunger equivalent. Like, do we just die instantly or do we start losing health? Fuck. Dead end. Ooh. That seemed like an actual enemy. <clears throat> Did not think I'd be spending this much time on this game whenever I booted it up, I gotta be honest. <clears throat> Damn, my throat's fucking up. Uh, I want... No, not that. Whip. Magic protects you. Again, I still don't know what that does. Do we just, like, not take a single hit? I don't understand what this is. This is annoying as shit. Like they're getting frozen over and over again. Fuck. Okay. There's something here. Drop that again. Potion. Freeze. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, no! Hold on. Fuck, I'm frozen. We might die. Uh, well, this thing doesn't seem to be doing any damage to us, so I guess it doesn't really matter. How long are we frozen for? Oh, shit. We just lost a point of health. Okay. 
die, you little bastard. Should we take the shoes with us? The shoes that don't seem to do anything? I mean, we have food. There's probably, like, better equipment around. What is this? Curses. Wait, did our weapon break? Is that what that did? I didn't want the damn boot or whatever. Fuck. Why would you put that there? Oh. Okay. That gave us, I'm assuming, health. That's got to be like a shit ton of health. What is this? I'm assuming that was like chain mail. Strength 15, stamina 12, diplomacy 8. Can't help but notice that our diplomacy keeps going down. Wonder if diplomacy has something to do with like magic? Just a bad name for it? Or are there actually like traitors or something that you can deal with? There's the traitor class, of course, or character, or whatever, but. This thing again? I also can't help but notice that we haven't found, like, a map yet. That's a pretty common item type, you know? Oh, fuck, it's after 2.30. This game really did, like, go a lot longer than I thought it would. This one specifically. So far, this is the only game i found that, like, I would actually have played. This looks like armor. That helped. Well, that's that's good. I'm glad that helped. Level 5, strength 15. Okay. Oh, the throwing axes are, like, limited. So we have no weapon now. Because for some reason, you can't seem to use the bow and arrow in encounters. Yeah, like, I just, I just can't do shit with it. Uh, use the potion. Oh shit, dude. Jesus Christ. I want. I, it's, I, 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 think I can't do anything. You can't run like. Okay, hold on. Like go back and then instantly. Huh. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to go down, please. I'm just holding down, okay. Fuck. Holding up. Oh my god. Just give me a weapon, any weapon, please. Uh, run, 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 run. Hopefully we're faster than this thing. Watch that door actually be important somehow. Oh wait, is this the end of the level? I would really like a weapon before we left, not gonna lie. Nope, guess we're going down. How many levels were there? Eight, I think it said, for this one? Level six. Oh, we can see at least an enemy now. That's fancy. Oh, wait, can we see all the enemies now? Maybe we can like, oh fuck. I was gonna say maybe we can kill them before we run into them. Move up. Aha! Life force is low. Okay, yeah. Eat some food. That's nice that it tells us that. I was kind of worried it wouldn't, to be honest, and we would just die at some point. Oh, another color of boots. I'm assuming by wearing them, like, it protects us from something. Oh, fuck. I don't have... Oh, weapon still. Is this a weapon? Oh, nope, no idea what that was. Fuck it, go through the door. There's a hallway? Oh, well. Uh, 
Okay, enemies don't follow across screens. Good to know. Ooh, chicken. this oh. I just want to beat it like <laughs> it's the easiest difficulty one but like I feel like we have a chance if we just find a weapon Try the circle with the pink boots. Oh, yeah, they're already equipped. Not, oh, you mean the annoying ass circle. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, I know it was up, but. Okay. It's a dead end. I'll go up now. It's up here somewhere. Oh, shit, wrong way. Is it all the way up here? Fuck. I don't remember where it was is the problem. You don't look nice. Are you a skeleton? Oh, fuck you. Fuck! Jesus Christ, you suck. <laughs> Let me go! Oh, it's a dead end, dude. <laughs> God. <laughs> this thing is fast, man. Okay. Okay, that's one of the skeleton dudes. Uh, He's not too fast, though. He's okay. He's aight. Here we go. Here's a circle. Oh, wait, did we walk through it just fine? No, we're frozen. Are we frozen? I can't tell because this annoying fucking bat thing. I wish we could kill it. Oh, we picked up an amulet at some point. Hold on, if I can get away from this thing. I want to put on the fucking... Oh my god, we're going to die here, dude. Because the only way to leave is by holding left, but then, of course, you gotta instantly press right to get away from this thing. Okay. Put on the amulet. Eat some food. Put on the amulet. I have no idea what that did. Okay, yeah, no, fuck that. Hopefully that's not the way we need to go. Was it up here? Oh, there's the stairs. And we were so close to him at one point. Screw it, just go down. I can't, without a weapon, man, I can't like do anything. Oh, we escaped! <laughs> Let's go! We beat the game! <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, we found one decent game. <laughs> in the in the bunch here i don't expect to find any more that's the only game i would probably play again um most of these are two-player games what's utopia we are done this is this is it i'm just curious what this is now term of office one enter turn length two enter is that not a valid option turn length one Nine, eight, six, zero. <laughs> Bro, one of these options got to work, right? Oh, is it like number of seconds, maybe? Okay, yeah. Oh. Wait, what is this? Okay, yeah, and no, I would I would need to read the directions to do this, obviously. All right, guys, yeah. <laughs> no, that's going to be it for tonight. Um, I don't even remember the name of the game. Tower something another. That's the only game that I would recommend from the Intellivision Lives collection. Unless you're, like, really into the Intellivision, I guess. I feel like... I don't know, man. The Atari... That was an official D&D &D game? No shit. I did not know that. But 
I get like the the collections of like the Sonic and and well like Sega games and shit like that, but like does anybody really have nostalgia? Yeah, for like in television and Atari and whatnot. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> uh, there is one game for the Sega Game Gear that I wouldn't mind playing on here at some point. It's also a rogue like, or just a rogue game honestly like dragon crystal or something like that it's one of the few games that i've played on the uh sega master system was it master system game? it may have been a genesis game i don't remember um but anyways it's i just like rogue games though so, so <laughs> like you know but yeah no uh have a good night guys thank you for coming and hanging out i appreciate you i'm happy even if it was just in television lives i'm happy to be playing a ps2 game and uh, I'm excited to do more. But until then, have a good night and be kind to each other, y'all. Bye!